Hi everyone, in this video we're going to make a cell phone case for an iPhone 6 Plus. So to do that we start off with a model. So I've got a model here of an iPhone 6 Plus and this needs to be inserted into a design. And once that's done, uh, it's possible to model a case around that phone model. Here's an example of one that's completed. You can see I've got the iPhone 6 Plus sits inside of this case. I can change the opacity control so you can see the case as a solid. So there's the finished case. It's got a logo. It's got cutouts for the camera, the different buttons, and it wraps around a little undercut here. Wraps around so it grabs the iPhone 6 so it doesn't come out of that case. With that, we'll go ahead and do the steps. I'm going to start a new design. It's important to save this in the same project where the iPhone's located. And the iPhone is located here in our class data folder. There is an iPhone 6 Plus. So to save the same project, we'll save to the cell phone case. I'm going to do a save here on a, in a new untitled document. I can hit save. Make sure I save this into the TEM250 cell phone case folder, that location. If you need to browse to it, click this button here to find it. Give it your name. And hit save. Once that saves, it's going to make a new file here. I can browse back over to the class data folder, find the iPhone 6 Plus. I do not want to open this. I want to insert it into my new file. I can do that by dragging and dropping, or on some computers you want to right click and say insert into current design. It's going to take a moment. It's going to insert the iPhone 6 Plus. I notice it has a link. It's a linked file inserted here. Uh, it's going to give me some idea of you know where I can move that. I want to just go ahead and say OK. No need to move this around. 